There are many customizable drawing tools and objects available to use in the NinjaTrader desktop charts. On the screen is a 10 minute intraday candle chart of the E-mini S&P. I'm gonna go ahead and open up the drawing tools by going to the drawing tool menu. So let's go ahead and add something. I'm gonna go ahead and just add a simple line. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have to find a place where I wanna place the lines and I'll simply just click the start of the line and I'll drag my mouse up to where I wanna end the line and then I've just added that line. And you can see I have a white dotted line on there. And we could change that as well. You could change the formatting. I'll go ahead and click on that dotted line. It'll bring up a dialog box where I could change the type of line it is, change it to a different color. I could hit apply and okay. And if I like that, I could also set that as my default by clicking on the template button at the bottom and then saving. And I could either create a new template or I could save as the default. By saving as the default, the next time I draw that line, it will be yellow instead of white. Let's go ahead and add some more stuff. Go down to the same menu. I'll click on Fib Retracement. That gives me the same pencil pointer on my cursor. And I'll go ahead and pick this little point again. I'll click low to high, and I've added my Fib Retracement to the chart. I could customize the Fib numbers, the colors, and I could customize the location of where I would like to place the Fib. Lastly, we'll go ahead and add a rectangle and go down to the Rectangle tool. And yeah, I like to use rectangles to show areas of support and resistance. I'd probably draw a rectangle here by clicking, moving my cursor to where I want to place it and click again. It really is that simple. If you do have the order flow version of the software, then you could also add order flow VWAP or order flow volume profile from here as well. Let's go ahead and add order flow VWAP. I'll activate it. I'll go ahead and just kind of add it from the beginning of the regular trading hours. I'll drag my mouse all the way over, click again, and I'll add that VWAP line right there to the chart. Hope that helps.